When it comes to the future of the live action Spider-Verse, it's really up to anybody to take a guess in which direction they're going to go in and you could probably be right down the road. We've known that Sony's outlook on the Spider-Verse is rather interesting that they were at one point in time looking to even include live action appearances in Spider-Verse 1 but they delayed that for the future. Now let's talk about video games and possibly even characters from recent Spider-Man games appearing in live action. I think it's very apparent to everybody by now that the future of Spider-Man in live action is going to go outside of live action as well. They're just going to sort of um, take everything that's Spider-Man that exists in the Spider-Verse and at some point start mashing it all up. We know that originally in Into the Spider-Verse they wanted to feature live action versions of Spider-Man but they said no, it's a little bit too early, we're gonna do that down the road. Now how about going the other way? Because we've seen Marvel Spider-Man aka the video game character appear in comics. Now how about that character appearing in live action? Well, Yuri Lowenthal, who plays Spider-Man in the Spider-Man PS4 video game, expressed interest in appearing in sequels and even Spider-Man 3, saying that he would do it in a heartbeat, he would love to do that, if it's a exploration of that role somewhere else in the multiverse, whether it's animated like the Spider-Verse sequel or Spider-Man 3, he's down for it, he wants to do it, and he'd be excited to play Spider-Man on the big screen. In my opinion, I only think it's a matter of time till this happens. Sony clearly has accepted that people aren't stupid. I mean, do you guys remember back in like 2010, 2011, even 2012 when they were setting up The Amazing Spider-Man? There was executives out there saying that The Amazing Spider-Man is technically Spider-Man 0.5 and 1.5, they're still part of the old films, they're just side stories because they were so afraid to tell people, yes, it's a it's a reboot, that's what it is. Like, they literally considered everybody that's in the audience to be a complete idiot. We've seen that that's changed now because people can understand the concept of multiple realities. It's just something that's like, yeah, look, like sci-fi has done that for like a hundred years in books and it's been all over tv and even films so now they're finally catching up with it they realized we can do this and you guys can probably imagine how much like love and fanfare there would be if spider-verse 2 for example if marvel's insomniac spider-man i'll just call it that shows up that would drive people nuts you can literally include the video game cg model of the character in the suit toss him in there his style would work because we see clashing styles work that's what took them so long in R&D to get that movie out and that's why it's taken so long to get the sequel out so I have no doubt that he's going to appear in the Spider-Verse sequels now live action that's an interesting one he'd like to but that's a little bit more complex and that's down to a uh, Sony logistics so what do you guys think do you think he's appearing in any of the upcoming sequels or Spider-Verse films or whatever they're going to do? I personally believe it's going to happen. I think we're seeing that in like the next five years. Like, no way they don't do it. I mean, just the merchandise alone. It, it just salivate from the mouth. There's so much sales to be made. <laughs>